Down from the Miami 49. This is McGahee looking for a crack, and he's got it. McGahee, 30, 20. That's what I'm talking about, Willis. His second long touchdown run of the game. This one from 51 yards. All season long, Willis McGahee runs like poetry in motion. But in a split second, the poetry turns to silence. Motionless. McGahee tears the anterior cruciate ligament and his medial collateral ligament in his knee, putting his football future in doubt. If you look at the clip a lot, you can see the way his knee turned. It looks like he also tore the MCL, which is really an easier thing to see based on a, on a, on a, on a video clip like that because of the angulation of his knee. Dr. Robert Bayless performs more than 100 ACL surgeries a year many like the one McGahee has. It's a knee injury that is becoming all too familiar in today's age of bigger, stronger, and faster athletes. We tend to make the diagnosis of ACL tears more frequently now than we did in the past, probably because of some of the diagnostic techniques we have, such as um, MRI scans that help us to know whether ACL tears are present or not. In addition, it may be that some of the athletes now are faster and stronger and have more ACL tears now than they used to have. That's not the only reason we hear about more ACL tears these days than maybe ever before. In fact, another reason has nothing to do with the actual knee at all. It has to do with the equipment the players are wearing. A more advanced cleat could lead to more ACL tears. In general, this kind of injury tends to be because the foot becomes fixed and the rest of the body turns on top of the foot, causing a twisting injury to the knee. So the better the cleat is and the more the cleat um, uh, fixes on the ground, the more chance you're going to have a twisting injury of the knee and cause an ACL tear. McGahee still plans on making it in the NFL. He has surgery and wants to get back on the field as quickly as possible. But Dr. Bayless says, as in most cases, not so fast. In general, we don't like athletes to get back to contact play for nine months following a reconstruction of the ACL. So that clock you can't really change. So if you move up doing the surgery earlier into the, the post-injury period, you're going to get the athlete back to play faster, taking some risk of, of having difficulty getting the range of motion back and uh, rehabbing the knee after the surgery. Risk. McGahee takes it every day on the field. Now he's taking it on the mend from the all-too-common ACL tear, hopeful to have more chapters of his football life to write. For Sunshine Network, I'm Jason Albert.